Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about the new combat zone, the new synth plant, and why I personally think it is the best combat zone currently available in NGS. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing you may have noticed is I do have the cash money emote because I made a lot of money yesterday by selling one item. However, before we go into the player market, I just want to show you guys the different emotes for the cash money because a lot of people were very confused on like, oh, where's the one where you throw cash everywhere, the one that you can see right now. And this is just a variation of the cash money emote. The original one that you can preview is just this one. It, you know, you're just counting money. Both the T1 and T2 variations are exactly the same. However, you have two additional emotes simply by left clicking you have one where you fan yourself with a ton of money and then the last one is of course you just toss money everywhere because you're just so rich but with that out of the way let me show you my personal shop i'm gonna go run personal shop and view sales and here it is gun blaze rifle sold for 60 million after taxes i got 54 million so that is a huge masetta injection into my wealth i now have 77 million again very very nice now for those who are wondering how on earth did you sell a gun blaze for 60 million this was because i got this beauty over here the gun blaze rifle with a fixa fatale level 4 which gives you 12 percent critical hit rate and gun blaze by itself gives you an additional 10 percent so it's pretty much best in slot almost best in slot you know if it was a fixa fatale 5 would be even better but still it was really really good and thus i was able to sell it for 60 million now before everyone goes to the comment section below and it's like carol you only like this combat zone because you got something worth money and you made a crap ton of masetta well of course that did affect whether i like the combat zone or not but more importantly the new combat zone nailed down several very important points to make the combat zone actually fun so the first and most important aspect of this combat zone is they finally added in some sort of mechanics which allows you to farm even more efficiently and in order to showcase the mechanics i do have some pre-recorded footage over here so that i can walk you through it so the first advantage of this combat zone is it is relatively small and there's not a lot of elevation which makes it very easy to navigate through this map However, let's talk about the first mechanic available. So every time you finish a PSE burst, the mob spawns will change. So you might get enemy spawns from Alio, Ritam, Kavaris, or Stia. So it mixes things up so you're not constantly killing the same mobs over and over and over. So it is very refreshing because of that. But more importantly are the mechanics which allow you to kill these mobs even faster. You probably have noticed when you're farming in this area that you might see these purple balls. So these purple balls, they pulse three times and then explode. However, if you sidestep the moment they explode, you actually get this blue bubble around you, which does a homing missile to the closest target to you and deals a metric ton of damage. As you're seeing in the footage right now, this is me with a plus 50 weapon. I haven't upgraded to plus 60 yet, and I'm hitting for like 50,000. However, nowadays, after I've gotten my weapon to plus 60, I can hit upwards to 77,000 crits. That is massive, especially against bosses and elite enemies and stuff like that. You just melt through them very, very quickly. So it's in your best interest to take advantage of this specific mechanic. Now, you might find it very difficult to find the timing on when to sidestep because if you're looking at the orb, it's actually very difficult to see when it's about to explode so what you want to do is you actually want to look at these lines the outline of the range of this orb actually gives you a very very good indicator on when to sidestep so you're going to see over here it's going to start charging you see that line that was one you see that this is the second one when it hits the ground that's going to be the end of the second pulse and here's the third pulse. You're gonna see the third pulse is a lot thicker and once this line touches the ground that is when you're going to sidestep and boom, you see, immediately I got that blue circle. This blue circle found that the elite Ams Kavaris is actually the closest target. So it's going to shoot this projectile towards him and kaboom, you see 41,000 damage right there, easy peasy. Keep in mind that I'm still using a plus 50 weapon over here, so it's nothing too crazy. But 41,000 damage on top of all of my regular attacks and photon blasts and all of that, it's really, really nice. And think about it, you've got eight people in the room. If everyone does that, 41,000 damage times eight, that is a metric ton of damage and the boss is going to die extremely quickly. So please take advantage of this mechanic. 
However, those pulsing orbs is only one third of the mechanics in this combat zone. Another mechanic of this combat zone is there are these booster pads. When you jump on these booster pads, you'll see that you'll bounce up and down. And once you bounce, you're going to get this aura. You see this little aura around me? There's like these two circles. When you get this aura, you need to use the ground pound. The ground pound is this little symbol over here. You can see it's got my foot and it's got this down attack. Now, if you're using the default controls, you can actually just attack in the air, I believe, and you'll automatically ground pound. However, I've disabled that in the options. So in order for my character to actually ground pound, I actually have to put this ability in my sub palette. However, the moment that you ground pound, you're actually going to deal AOE damage in a large explosion. As you can see right here, you do this gigantic explosion and it pretty much kills everything around you super quickly. And it's very, very powerful. You can see right here, boom, another ground pound. Very, very nice. Now, the last mechanic available in this combat zone is even more straightforward. You're going to see these mines or these stim beacon looking things on the floor. All you need to do is pick them up and you actually just place them on the ground and they are exploding decoys. Just think of it like Bomberman. You literally pick up these bombs, you throw them, it taunts the enemies. The moment the enemies hit them, they explode and they deal ton of AOE damage. So it's really, really convenient. So you can see over here, I picked up the mine. I'm going to walk over to the enemies. I'm just going to toss it at them. You may also have noticed that I've got like these two gigantic laser beams that are shooting the enemy and that's your drone thing over here they took this drone from vanford laboratories and just gave it steroids and now it shoots like freaking ranger photon blasts and it's really really nice and you don't need to do anything it literally does everything for you automatically you just run around and it'll just automatically shoot enemies and look at that damage it's insane and you can see right here that i just threw the little decoy bombs and you can see right here this is the decoy bomb right here. It's going to taunt all the enemies that are in its radius. They're all going to attack that thing and it's just going to explode and deal tons of AOE damage. And it's really, really awesome. You're going to see right here, they're attacking it and it's going to explode now. And kaboom, look at that. 20,000 damage, 19,000 damage, 23,000, 24,000 damage. It does a metric butt ton of damage and you don't actually need to do anything. It's really, really fun because you just pick up these mines, you just toss them everywhere and all of the mobs just defeat themselves and you just pick up all the loot and it's really, really nice. So those are the main reasons why I really like this new combat zone. It's simply because they added in all these mechanics and you get different mobs so you don't get bored and it doesn't get stale very, very easily because you're constantly doing different things. And when when you do the mechanics it's actually better than just normal dps so it's actually encouraging you to learn the mechanics and to use it to your advantage which i really really like however the cherry on top is of course the drops you may have noticed that the gunblaze weapon prices are in free fall right now and the reason for this is because the gunblaze weapons do drop in that combat zone and they drop fairly often most people that i've known as long as they farm for like two to three hours they've gotten at least one drop so it is a relatively common drop so if you are planning to go Gunblaze because you know you just want that pure damage build then by all means it's a very good time to farm for one pick one up and use it because it's very very powerful. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again. But yeah that's all I wanted to cover in today's video hopefully you guys found it helpful if you did I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!